Hello guys, it's me Allison and welcome to my weekly meltdowns coverage of The Bachelorette, Jojo Fletcher, Episode 9. So Jojo sent Luke home, like I said she would. Dude shocked. Like, he was just like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I was shocked too, bro, because I don't know why she's picking this Robbie idiot over you there and cries about like really on her knees in that blue dress crying you know what jojo you wouldn't have been this upset if you sent robbie home just saying so the rest of the episode is exotic overnight dates so first one up is robbie yeah and the only thing i hate more than Robbie is his ridiculous hair. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be unladylike, but I don't like him. I don't like him at all. I love how JoJo continuously brings up how on this night during my season, I told Ben that I loved him and he said it back. Normally, I'd be a little pissed with JoJo for bringing this up while with another guy, but it's Robbie, so I really don't give up. So before they go into the fantasy suite, he pulls out a letter that he said his dad shoved in his pants while he was getting ready for bed. Your dad did not shove a letter. That's a fake letter. I think Robbie wrote it himself. I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. It's a fake ass letter. The fantasy suite and... Jojo continuously tells us, I can't wait to be intimate with Robbie. That is so ill! Every time she says that, I want to choke myself out. I guess I'm just so bitter over her picking him over. I feel like I am the best friend that none of my girlfriends listen to. Oh, wait. I am. So up next is the Jordan hiking date. I still don't know how I feel about him. They're in Thailand. They're in this beautiful cave and all they care about is the fact that they can't make outside a sacred temple. Oh my god, I wish I had these problems. Like their dinner was weird. It, it was like every answer that Jordan gave Jojo, she desperately wanted to believe is the truth. Like, why do you love me? How do you know? Uh, because I feel things for you and not just in my pants. So rehearsed, I was just waiting for him to say, you complete me. And they spent the night in the fantasy suite and once again, Jojo wakes up looking perfect. So now we're on date number three with Chase. And we're riding around in a boat, kissing fish and waving at monkeys. I like Chase. I'm not gonna lie. I like Chase. I think he had the best date. They got to go swimming, make out in the water. Everything was perfect. And then Robbie shows up. You know, if memory serves right during Ben's season when he was down to the final three... Uh, one of them girls showed up out of nowhere at his suite, unannounced, uninvited. Her ass went home. Then he starts talking about how he can't wait to get down on one knee and propose to her. Honey, you're interrupting a date. The only thing you're going to be getting on is a plane. So at the end of the day, JoJo sends chase home. And I'm not going to go on a tirade about it. Um, not because I, I'm just angry. I'm just going to quote Chase. I opened myself up to you like never before and you t tell me to get the fuck out. Dude's got a point, Jojo. These guys are opening up to you and you just like, oh, you love me? You've jumped over hurdles for me? You've never done this for anyone but me? Okay, I'm totally validated now. Get the fuck out. I'm no Dr. Drew Pinsky, but I sense a pattern here. So we find out next Monday who she picks. Jordan or Robbie? I'm going to go with Jordan because I can't force my mind to go there. It's like the lesser of the two evils. Trump 
or Hillary, Jordan or Chase. Also, please like and share My Weekly Meltdown on Facebook and I'm on YouTube under My Weekly Meltdown. I am also on Instagram at the.memphis.darling and I'm on Twitter at Summers, S-O-M-M-E-R-S, 1977. All that information is also in the body of this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week for the finale.